taking you inside of our lake cottage here on Table Rock Lake. It's nestled near Branson, Missouri in Southwest Missouri, just four hours away from our primary home. I've received so many requests for a tour and I thought I'd take you along today. So let's come inside. As you step inside to our lake cottage, you see our open living room here on the right, complete with vaulted ceilings. It's one of the things that drew us to this home is because it was wide open, allowing us to serve multiple functions, is big enough for our family and to share with friends, but it's also small enough and intimate enough that it feels really homey, no matter how many or how few people you have here. We entertain here a lot. It's one of my greatest joys is sharing our lake house with our friends and family. Well, we've done quite a bit to our home already, including removing wallpaper and changing out all the light fixtures and painting, there's still so much more to be done. I look forward to tackling these banisters soon. We're a really fun idea for them. And I'm always tweaking things. Like I just replaced my old bar cart with this new bar cart because I just loved how light and airy it is. And then I had Chris make me a painting to go above it. And I love how it turned out. I cannot wait until the frame arrives. Because we entertain often, I love to have an abundance of seating. I've actually ordered four chairs from my friend Chloe of Boxwood Avenue because when we purchased these three chairs, it said that they were going to be coming back in stock and they didn't. So I want four chairs, two on each side of this coffee table, and we'll repurpose these three between our two homes. Now, I need a lot of flexible seating as well, and these make nice stools when we have additional people, but we can also easily fold them up and set them aside when they are impeding in the walking space, or really, to be honest, the girls' gymnastics or dance routine. This coffee table, encourages conversation, it's large, it's oversized, and it also allows for plenty of storage. Now in the kitchen, we just replaced these floors with wood floors. We look forward to updating the refrigerator and we have a new dishwasher with a panel on order. And what I'm really excited about is adding in a new owl range from Italy. It is going to be a beautiful dusty blue hue and I think it will be a lovely addition to this space. We retained our original cabinetry even though it didn't go all the way to the ceiling and just merely updated the hardware and we painted it the same colors as the wall. That way it makes our entire kitchen feel much larger and brighter and more of a part of the space in the entire home. Because it's one smaller open space, this makes it feel much larger. Now this eating area, it seats six, but we can actually squeeze in an additional two chairs that I have stored outside. I love adding flexibility to all of my designs. And of course, then we can seat additional guests outside as well, which I'll show you in just a moment. Now in here, we have the laundry. It's truly one of my favorite spaces because we maximized a very small space Using stackable washer and dryer, we just use peel and stick, wallpaper, and it serves multiple functions. It is the place where our trash is stored. It is also the place where we get all of our towels, sunscreen, etc. Now over here, I just whipped these up really quickly using some supplies that I purchased on Amazon. And I thought 
they turned out really great. The frames are from Amazon as well. But I just needed a little something for that space. Throughout our home, we have integrated M-Tech knobs. I really love how modern and beautiful they are. They're a pretty satin color. And I think that they're an instant way to elevate a space. This door used to look out into the garage and it will get painted along with the rest of our home this fall. Now, if you step to the left of the door we entered in, you will see our first guest bedroom. Again, I repurposed these little stools in here because they're great for luggage and sitting down while you're putting your shoes on and things like that. I love the hydrangea that are just outside the window. It gives our guests a beautiful view. And I use all white simple bedding in our guest rooms. And that's because it's really easy to clean and you never tire of it, which is exactly what you're looking for in a lake house. You really want low maintenance. Just a little bamboo side table, add some versatile storage, which I use for the guest house since it is a shared bath. Now on to the shared bath. This hall bath is used by the guest room, the guest staying in that room, and any guests that are just over at our house. I've outfitted it with beautiful wallpaper that just feels really super fun and whimsical and navy blue sconces, brass shower curtain rod, and a tassel shower curtain. Of course, here you'll see the M-Tech knobs as well. Now, of course, the must-haves in the bathroom. This space was really fun to design. In here, we updated to white oak wood floors as well. We also added a beautiful pedestal sink that just felt more modern than the one that was here before, and a brass mirror that makes the room appear larger and taller. Now we're going to step inside to our room. I again used M-Tech knobs, but I chose some lovers that coordinate for the closet space. One of the things I love most about our room is the huge picture window. It gives us a great vantage point of the lake. So I positioned our bed to enjoy it and consume that view. I retained our original wallpaper in this space because first of all, it is really expensive to remove and install wallpaper and it's just not a high priority, but I also think it's kind of fun. So I worked with it using some beautiful natural elements. Just above our bed, we have the artwork that again, Chris created for me. It's a textural piece. I think it's really fun to create something on your own. Again, I have some beautiful white bedding. I really love this. It just has some fun little detail to it. Now we're going to head on in to the restroom. Again, original wallpaper. but it's a really pretty fun pattern that I feel like would still be used today. However, I do believe that this bathroom is going to receive a makeover. We had the white oak floors installed in here as well and just updated to some brass knobs. Speaking of flooring, I really love this carpet that we did through Lowe's all throughout our home. And here's that beautiful lake view I mentioned. It gets even bigger in the winter. 
We just can't get enough of it. And we're really lucky to have a lake view home because here at Table Rock, you either have lake access or lake view if you're lucky. And we have both. Now we're gonna head downstairs. One of my favorite features here is the ore that we used for banister. It's really simple, we just replaced the original banister and had an ore made to size. And oversized artwork hangs on the wall above. As you go around to the left, you enter the other guest bedroom. This one again, I retained the original wallpaper. Our builder is such a special person. He built this in the 90s and built every home and decorated it exactly like he would live in it before he put them on the market. We're so lucky to call him friend. And here, to make the wallpaper work, I just updated the bedding, incorporating the same colors, a new pendant, accented it with, again, some X stools. I love X space stools, if you haven't noticed. I just think they're really great when people are traveling in and need a place to put their luggage or to just sit down to get ready. And then we just repurposed this old um, nightstand that we had for many, many years. As you take a step into the Jack and Chill bathroom, you can see that we have taken this dated tile and we have used a white grout pen to make the grout white and feel fresh and new again. I added a no diving mat just for a fun nautical whimsical touch and some boat cleats. I like getting a little kitschy without doing too much. So I use the nautical elements kind of sparingly, but as much as we love boating, I couldn't resist. Here again, I used a shower curtain with a really fun detail. As I mentioned, it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you can see some more of the details here as we enter in from underneath the stairs. I just painted the original vanity and changed out the faucet with a really inexpensive option from Amazon. Now we're entering the girls' bedroom, the place that is never quiet. They are so sweet and have so much fun in here. Just on the other side of the little stairwell, we have the lower living room. This space is really fun. Just another great hangout. And I use black and white art, just iPhone photos of the girls for an oversized fun statement. Plenty of seating. Again, a lot of it being flexible so we can fold it up and stow it away if needed along with this flexible side table and these chairs that roll away. That way, if we need to put an air mattress down here, we can. And just to the right of all this is where you'll find me every Saturday and Sunday morning on my elliptical, staring out to the beautiful lake. And Chris created this super fun, I know I say fun a lot, but that's exactly what I wanted this home to feel like nook for the girls. We just used a plug-in sconce, a little art, had a cushion made from an RV company, and voila! Out 
here. Um, the patio door is just outside the lower living room. You'll see my next project, which is this additional seating area where we can all hang out and watch the girls run around and play. I added some nautical hints, light fixtures, big mirror, just to make the outdoor space feel like an indoor space. And this great coffee table that I wanted forever, and it was even prettier in person. I can't wait to show you more when the rest of the furniture and the rug arrive. Over here, we have the swing where the girls spend so much time giggling. It's a really fun spot to sit and take in some more of those beautiful views. As you can hear, it's very peaceful out here. Now just steps away, we have a little bistro area. Originally I couldn't figure out what to do with this space. And I just felt like it needed a little something. But it turned out that now it's like a great place to grab a glass of wine or a cup of coffee in the morning. Now we're going to go upstairs to see the deck. deck is one of my favorite projects because it truly did extend our living space and expanded our views because we used glass railing. We eat a lot of our meals out here and well, who can blame us? Even with the glass railing, it's very cool because we use PVC decking. We catch a nice breeze and, of course, those breathtaking views. At night, this is where you'll find Chris and I stargazing. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of our lake house. You can see more of our lake home by visiting the playlist here.